We'll send you down to Big D, the one with the big hole in the roof, Texas Stadium in Irving. It is about set for football in the Lone Star State. Oilers, Texans, next. Well, the fans definitely look pumped up and ready for today's game. Welcome to Texas Stadium. I'm Dan Steele. And with me in the booth, as always, my cohort and friend, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, I was looking at the team rosters, and both teams have explosive return men on their squad. Well, that's true, Dan, and if they can produce as they're capable of, this could be a high-scoring game. Number 87, he's a very capable return man. But what I love about this guy is his speed. That gives him the ability to zip past tacklers and come up with big returns. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer. Jackson is a superb player. He's just an all-around talent and a supreme competitor. And a guy like that can get it done in so many ways. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. But first, the toss of the coin. Number 16, picking up the ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 16 kicks it off to begin the game. Jackson downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Texans offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 20-yard line. Number eight, takes up and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. <laughs> Number eight, sacks him way back at the 34. to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Second down. 16 yards to go. Number 23 makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Number 23 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played Let's well by the defense. Here. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Dawson rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Number 30 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. It was third and very long, and it Somebody didn't look too hard for the defense to stop that play right in its track. You know, Dan, that's what pressure on first and second down will get you. You push them into a hole, and then it's hard to climb out. Fourth down ahead. Wilson gets the snap and punts it away. Number 87. Fields the down at the 24. Right down at the 34. Number 87. Racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Oilers send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 34-yard line. Number 89 goes in motion. Number 20 gets the call on first down and heads wide left. The 40 
30. Finally gets out of bounds at the 24. First down. Number 20 works it to the outside and gets a huge gain. That's a great play, great execution. Let's have another look. Yep, got past the marker and eventually runs out of bounds. That's the first time they tried to run it there, and the decision paid off pretty big. Yeah, when you've got ball carriers like him, it's foolish not to make the running game part of your attack. Keep your eyes on the pass. First Keep ten. The pass. Oh, 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 oh. Falls incomplete. Number 89 could have had a nice run up the sidelines on that one, but didn't make the catch. That's incomplete. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Number 16 throws a bullet to the flat and it's complete at the 22. Tackled at the 15. Number 16 played this pass in beautifully, rendering the defense irrelevant. When you can make accurate throws like that, the whole field starts to open up for you. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now Danny can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy to me, but we'll see if they can pull it off. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 28 tried to snag that one across the middle, but doesn't happen. Third and short, and they just can't get the completion. Why didn't they go with the run, Peter? Well, I would have, but I'm not the coach. He's obviously got other plans. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. They take the lead. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Number 16. The There's the signal, and we're ready. Number 16 rockets this one deep. Jackson decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 22. Jackson took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Texans stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 22-yard line. Dawson throws a beauty to the right side, and the reception's made at the 30. Eventually runs out at the 50. It will be first down. Number 88 shovels this ball all over the place before finally pulling it down. I thought I was a kid at the circus watching this play. You were in the circus. That doesn't come as a surprise to me at all. No, 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 Dan. I wasn't in the circus. I was at the circus. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Number 85. Reels in the football gets past the markers for a first down. Number 85 makes the catch with three defenders on his case. I just don't know why uh, the throw was made in the triple covering. Hey, it worked. Yes, it did. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. <laughs> Dawson just rifles this one, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Number 88 faces double coverage on this play, but still comes out with the ball. Nice throw and nice catch. Let's take a look. They had him covered well, but he was still able to make the catch. Look as a great receiver. First down, two tight ends in the game. Hey, 
Picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Davis had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Calber has a report. Susie? Thank you, Dan. I managed to get a word with the team doctors. They said he's suffering from a hyperextended elbow. They're trying to mitigate the pain by taping him up, but it doesn't seem to be working. They're listing his return as doubtful. Dan? She always will hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susie. Number 41 crushes him behind the line at the 24-yard line. Number 41 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. Number 82 hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Ineligible receiver. Number 64, offense. The penalty is declined. Incomplete pass. Let's go, Brady. You know you kick a kick when you're from here. Number 19, Cole Cole. Number 81 with the 41 yard attempt. Oh, the field goal attempt is good. good. Number 81 knocks through a good sized kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his match, but he's obviously still very pleased to pull it off. the signal and we're ready number 81 booms of beauty here number 87 decides to take it out of the end zone tackled at the 24 number 87 took it out of the end zone and while it may have been a little risky he gets out close to the 20 so it all comes out in the wash on that play The Oilers will start this first play of the drive at their own 24-yard line. Number 16 fires this one over the middle, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Face mask, number 45, defense. Five-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat first Number 45 down. grabs a little too much face mask on this play and it costs him a flag. Let's watch. Yeah, it's only a five-yard penalty for this face mask. I'm pretty sure that was unintentional. First down with the tight end right. Number 89 is well past the markers for a first down. <laughs> Number 89 has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Number 16, oh, this oh, oh, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Four receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. Number 28 goes in motion. <laughs> Stopped at the line, and that brings up second down. Score. 
Number 16 gets it past the defender and into the arms of his receiver. That's a great play. Check it out. Ooh, nice accurate throw. Peter, that's his first touchdown pass of the game. How do his stats look? Well, so far, he's got 80 yards and one touchdown. Get Number 16 to attempt the extra point. Number, Number 15, 15 hold holding. Now the point after, yeah, and point good. it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 16 rockets this one deep. Jackson decides to take it out of the end zone. Dragged down at the 21. Jackson took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Texans get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 21-yard line. to 23. Haynes didn't get very far on that last play and he even had the help of some blocking. I guess the defense had their number. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get Dan but they were you know, hoping for more. Dawson dumps this one to the flat and it is not real in. Incomplete. Number 32. Didn't have anyone on him on that play but still couldn't make the catch. Dawson makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confident QB. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. First down from the on. Haynes will get the carry on first down and choose up about four on the play. Number 43 with the tackle. Here comes the counter. Here comes Second the counter. Second and six. Lambert. Lambert. We win. We win. Picks up about two, and that will bring up third down. Unstoppable, baby. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. Let's take it up and watch this. Third and three. Take it off. Dawson zings it to the right side and it's knocked down at the line incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 82 swatted that ball away like swatting a fly. That is how you're supposed to fill the passing lanes, baby. Peter, the defense stood tall and forced the incompletion, but I don't understand that call. Uh, they wouldn't have gotten much at all, even if it was complete. Fourth down either way, and in my opinion, too, a bad call. Wilson gets the ball and punts it away. Number 87. Tackle at the 12. Tackle at the 23. Number 87 did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Oilers' offense has been effective with the long passes. Will they keep it up? Well, we're going to find out as they start off at their own 23-yard line. Number 28 goes in motion. Number 20 carries it for the third time and gains about three yards. Number 50 with the tackle. Him behind the line 
Mastrini. Number 55 not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Third down, one man back. Number 16 puts his arm into this one and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 27 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Number 43 lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 43 takes the snap and punts it away. Drag down at the 41. Jackson got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Texans offense takes the field and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as they start at their 41 yard line. Takes it across the line and chews up about four on the play. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Hey, call again, and picks up a couple. Number 30 with the tackle. Play action! Third and three. Well, the home game's 47 yard hurry. Dawson rifles it out left side and they can't connect. Incomplete. Wilson gets ready to punt this away. Wilson takes the long snap and punts it away. Number 87 fields it at the 18. Tackled at the 30. Number 87 racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Oilers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 30-yard line. Number 16 throws a bullet and it's incomplete. And that'll do it for That's quarter the number one. The Oilers are out in front 10 to 3. Number 44 goes in motion. Number 20 loses one on the play, and that brings up third down. Branch not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Number 16 unports this to the left sideline, and it's off. Incomplete. Number 43 lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 43 hits the ball and punts it away. Jackson fields the punt at the 35. Brought down at the 38. Jackson got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Texans have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their 38-yard line. Hey, 
Punches this one left of center and maybe picks up one on the play. Haynes used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Haynes stuck close to his blockers, okay. but the play Let's folded go. quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Dawson fires this one over the middle, and it's complete at 45. Hunted down at the 38. That will bring up first down. Haynes <laughs> carries this one out to the right and chews up about four on the play. Second and six. Ball on the 34-yard line. Takes it for his 11th carry and will lose about a yard here. Number 31 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his second tackle so far. Third down, six yards to go. get the first on third and long. Number 88 is squeezed by two defenders on this play, but still comes up with the ball. Oh, that's pure skill. You can't coach that. The balls are coming his way in the middle, and he's making them pay. You have to like his performance so far. Well, Dan, I like any receiver who's willing to go over the middle and sacrifice the body to make the catch. Haynes gets the toss and runs into traffic. Stop at the 11. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Third down and less than a yard. them even farther away from the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Culpepper targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They come up with the big play and on third and short, they force the fourth down. Yeah, they even caused a loss of yardage. What a time to come up big. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. It's good. It's been an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 81 kicks it off. Number 87 catches it back at the four. Jukes tackled at the 25. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, there's the drive results, and the thing I want to talk about is how close this game is. When the score is like it is, one single mistake can change the whole game. They need to be careful here.
Number 87 got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Oilers bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 25-yard line. No good, incomplete. Number 44 had that ball in his hands on that play, and he just dropped it. Peter, even though he's a back versus a wideout, it, it's still rare to see him drop those. Yeah, you're right, Dan. For, for a back, he's got great hands. Second and 10. Number 16 unloads this to the left, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culver has a report for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. I managed to get a word with the team doctors. They said he's suffering from a hyperextended elbow. They're trying to find a brace that will mitigate the pain, but nothing seems to be working. They're listing his return as doubt. Guys, back to you. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susie. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. No dice, and it falls incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Number 43 lines up for the punt. Number 43 gets the snap and punts it away. Jackson takes it at the 31. Tackled at the 43. Jackson racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Texans offense will start this drive at their 43-yard line. Incomplete. Number 27 got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Dawson throws it deep and it's complete at the 33. Finally stopped at the 39. First down. As you can see, he's up over the century mark. Oh, he came to play today. <laughs> Number 32 pushes it in the flat, and that's a game of seven on the play. Number 32 got wide open and made the easy grab. Great job to take advantage of the D's confusion. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect from him. <laughs> that's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, but you will see him make plays off those shorter catches. We'll get stopped at the line, and that brings up third down. Number 31 with the tackle. Okay, Phil, we went over this all week in practice. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, okay. we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, fellas? All right, defense, let's hit them hard. Third and two. All right, 32 yard line. Number 43 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Number 43 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great rebound. Fourth down, two yards to go. Number 81 boots it from 49 yards out and... And he misses this one to the right. Number 81 puts everything he has behind this kick, but it just doesn't happen for him. 
In all fairness, that's a pretty long kick. In fact, it's so far away, he may not even realize he missed it yet. You know, Dan, it may be time to get that prescription updated. They're, they're doing amazing things with trifocals these days. Watch it there, young fella. That's his third attempt today, and this time he cannot put it through. Still, he's put points on the board there, Dan, so he can't kick himself too bad. Number 20 has his number called on first down and searches for a hole. Brought down at the 44. Number 20 has done well, but a lot of these yards are from that one big run that he pulled off earlier. Still, I like his numbers. And so far, he's racked up 47 yards on six carries. Hey, what got her? What got Second and six. six. Number 89 goes in motion. Number 20 will get the carry on second down and ends up losing about three. Number 50 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his second tackle so far. Third down, one man down. the first on third and long. Would you please? Number 16 makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confident QB. What a pass. And he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's first got 109 yards and oh, one oh, touchdown. Number 16 really rifles this pass, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 69 swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. <laughs> that is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipation of the pass. Falls incomplete. Robinson had that play dissected before it even started, really. Textbook zone coverage there. That'll give us a third down, and the defense was ready for that call. Well played, and a good job of not giving up the short pass. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Number 16 throws a heater right sideline, and he connects at the 17. Touchdown! Number 87 knows how to play ball in the NFL. He makes the catch and then works for more yards. That's the kind of player you get the ball to. The touchdown was his for the taking, Peter. Good individual effort. Yeah, and great teamwork, too. Number 16 to attempt the extra point. Number 15, hold holding. Here's the point after, yeah, and no point it. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number 16 booms a beauty here. Jackson decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 18. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Not a lot of efficiency there. And when they do score, you can see that it's the field goal variety. They need to punch it in if they want a shot. Jackson got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. Look, Dan, great receiving yards there. That will help your fantasy team. Five. Number 32 took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to him have all been in completion. Yeah, he's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. Spike, choose 
up four yards, and that brings up third down. Number 33 brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. They don't allow them to convert, but they did allow them to get very close. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. about three yards. Let's do it, baby. Yeah. Second down, just Second a single down. receiver on the field. Wilson lines up for the punt. In punt formation. Number 87 to make the return. Wilson takes the long snap and punts it away. Number 87 fields the punt at the team. Dragged down at the 35. Number 87 ran it back for a solid gain. That was a good punt, but he really made up for it. The Oilers come out on the field, and they're looking to extend their lead before halftime. They'll start at their 35-yard line. Number 16 throws a heater, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 16 has had a number of pass attempts. And we've seen that his guys are out there running their routes and trying to make plays. He would like to do a little bit more, however. So far, he's got 139 yards and two touchdowns. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Number eight. a gain of seven on the play. Number 16 made a nice throw there. Got it right past the defender. Terrific throw there. He's gotten off to a very good start today. His team expects nothing less from him. And neither does he. Number 16 throws a bullet to the flat. And this one is incomplete. Number 43 lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 43 takes the snap and punts it away. Jackson gets it at the 17. Brought down at the 23. Jackson didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Texans' offense takes the field with the clock at 24. Number 27 had his man dead to rights, badgered him towards the sidelines, then 
physically tossed him out of bounds. That's his third tackle of the game. Second down with the tight end, right. Take their first time out. Dawson passes a high, long one, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 40 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Second down, two tight ends in the game. Choose up about four. Yeah, that roller ain't getting away this time. Leopard, Leopard. Shotgun, shotgun. Dawson throws this one way downfield and it's tipped. Incomplete. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Oilers enjoying the lead 17 to 6. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody. ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime numbers and look at the difference in time of possession. The Oilers have a pretty sizable lead, and they got to feel fortunate to have one. An exciting start to this one right on the first play from scrimmage. Number 16 would find his target on this one. Oilers still early in the first. Number 20 bounces this one to the outside, and it's going to get some room to maneuver out there. That set up a 33-yard field goal. Home players early in the first quarter. Home players losing by three. Number 16 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. They knot it up. Three all. Oilers midway through the first. Number 16 connected with his man on this one. A 27-yard touchdown for the Oilers. Oilers up 10 to three. Number 16 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Home players later on in the second quarter, the ball at their own 38-yard line. Number 16 connected with his man on this one. That set up a 30-yard field goal. Home players midway through the second. Home players back by four. Number 16 would find his target on this one. The Oilers back on offense after a missed field goal. Number 87 ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. A 30-yard touchdown for the Oilers. Oilers out in front, 17-6. Number 16 would find his target on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Home players are down at the half, 17 to six. It's time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Number 87 has been unstoppable. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Oilers get the ball first this half, and another score by them could really open up this game. They currently lead 17 to 6. Let's get down to the field and the action. Number 81 kicks it, and the second half has now started. Number 87 fields the second half kickoff at the three. Back down at the 26. Number 87 got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. 
The Oilers come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Number 28 goes in motion. Number 20 gets the handoff and heads left. Tackled at the 29. Number 20 has had good success when taking it out past the tackles where he can find some room and turn on the Jets. He's doing his part and look at the numbers here. So far he's got 47 yards on eight carries. Second down, tight end to the left. Number 20 picks up a yard on the play and that will bring up third down. Number 20 used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. <laughs> Number 54, Jackson back at the 26. It'll be fourth down. Number 54 goes in unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O-line should be embarrassed. Watch this. Oh, yeah, sacks don't get much easier than that. Peter forced the loss of yardage on third, and now they face a fourth and long. How, how do you rate that defensive performance? Uh, how about A+, plus? two thumbs up, five stars. It's all good, baby. Number 43 takes the snap and punts it away. Tackled at the 32. Jackson got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Texans' offense has to score here. This drive will start at their 32-yard line. Number 80 gets the sack at the 30. Number 80 gets a sack in the backfield. The quarterback had nowhere to go on this one. Let's watch. Yep, the D shut the offense down on that play. They couldn't do anything. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, you can say that again. So far, he's got two tackles and two sacks. Number 88 makes the catch on the right sideline, and that's good for a gain of five. Number 88 had just one guy on him and makes the most of it. And he schooled that guy so bad, I can smell the chalk dust. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Dawson airs this one to the left sideline, and it's caught at the 46, and he's stopped right there. That will bring up first down. Number 81 took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's kept throwing it his way. First down, 10 yards to go. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground. And it's incomplete. Number 88 dropped the ball so fast there, you'd think it bit him on the thumb or something. That's his first drop of the game. And while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that one. That would have been a tough catch. three yards and that brings up third down number 23 all right what have you got okay all right let's stop him here team this pass will fall harmlessly to the ground and it's incomplete that will bring up fourth down Wilson gets ready to punt this away. Wilson takes the long snap and punts it away. 
Number 87 takes it at the 13. Stopped at the 20. Number 87 fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. The Oilers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 20-yard line. Robinson makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Robinson got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Number 16, zips it to the left sideline, and it's caught at the 34, 40, 30, 20, 15, and touchdown! Number 89 makes the catch and then takes it for a great run here. Now he's got it. If you give him the room, he'll be happy to take it from you. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown pass, but he made it one with that terrific run after the catch. He fights for every inch he can get out there so you don't leave any daylight between him and the Number end zone. Number 15 to attempt the extra point. point. Number 15, Number 15 holding. holding. Now the extra point, the extra point and good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number 16 rockets this one deep. Jackson downs this in the end zone for a touchback. After the game, let's get on that new ESPN football game. All right, man. Cool. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do it. The Texans are fading fast and are in need of a score. Their offense will start this vital drive at their own 20-yard line. Spikes gains eight yards, and that will bring up second down. Number 88 delivers what we call a textbook block on that play. Uh-huh. And why exactly do we call it a textbook block? Because it feels like you're getting wrapped with a textbook. One of those really, you know, heavy science ones. Oh, well, yes. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down with a split backfield. Spikes has his number called on second down and picks up the first down. Number 81 tags the missile and is well past the markers for a first down. Pass interference, number 43, defense. The penalty is First and 10. Ball gains 47 yard mark. He's at the 40, eventually tackled at the 35. It will be first down. Spikes finds the hole on this one and gains some good yardage. Wow, great blocking on that play. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First down, two wideouts on the field. 
Catches it in the flat, and that will be a gain of three yards. Dawson made a nice throw there. Got it right past the defender. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Dawson fires this one over the middle, and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. took his lone defender to school on that last play, making the catch with relative ease. That's another medium-range catch for him. He's really found his niche in there. Yeah, unless he starts getting shut down, there's no reason for him to move out of it. Spike gets the call on first down and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Number 30 with the tackle. Let's step it up this time. Second, Second and nine. nine. Oh, right there, three three yard. Yard. They were back. They were back. That one's it. Dawson rifles one straight to the end zone, and this one is incomplete. Number 26 was the intended receiver. Jackson has this one seemingly put away, Dan, and yet somehow he drops it. You know, when people say at work, when they say you dropped the ball on that one, well, he really did. Yeah, so what he did is so bad that it's become an all-purpose cliche. Man, you can't feel too good about that. Peter, well, I tell you, he, he seems to be in a bit of a funk recently. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, that's his fourth ball thrown his way, and, and he can't reel them in. Yeah, funky, Dan. He's just got to grab one to get his confidence back, though. Intercepted. <laughs> Nine. Dawson is feeling some pressure as he lets this one go, which is why it zings right into the defender's reach. He wishes he had that one back. That's the first time he's been picked off today, and by the look on his face, well, he knows he should not have thrown that one. That is one unhappy man down there. The Oilers are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own nine-yard line. Number 90 goes in motion. Number 20 will take this one off the toss and rambles for about five. Come on. I can't Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Number 20 gains five on the play, and that will bring up third down. Number 20 got a little help from his friends on that play, Dan. They gave him the space he needed to make the play. Great blocking up front. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Number 20 carries it for a third time in a row, and it takes it upfield. Right down at the 24. First down. First down. Number 20 got yards by staying so close to his blockers. I think they were sharing each other's aftershave. He gets another call, and he's carried the offense on his shoulders for these last three plays. <laughs> hey, until it stops working, there's no reason to look elsewhere. Stop at the 27. Second down, one man down. Number 20 takes his 13th carry of the game and chews up about four on the play. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. 
Robinson was on the short out from the get go on that last play and was able to get in there and make sure it was incomplete. Peter, the defense stood tall and forced the incompletion, but I don't understand that call. Uh, they wouldn't have gotten much at all, even if it was complete. Fourth down either way, and in my opinion, too, a bad call. Number 43 lines up for the punt. Number 43 gets the ball and punts it away. Jackson fields the punt at the 30. Drag down at the 32. Jackson got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Texans were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their 32-yard line. Spikes will get the handoff and heads out right. Number 30 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got six tackles. Dawson uncorks this to the left sideline, and it's incomplete. Number 81 dropped the ball so fast there, you'd think it bit him on the thumb or something. That's his first drop, and it is not often you see that from him. No, normally he's pretty sure-handed there. We stop him right here and right now. Ball 32 Number 40, tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Fourth down, coming up. Number 40 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. There. That's his third batted ball, and he is doing his part, that is for sure. Nice to see aggressive D like that, Dan. Wilson lines up to punt after the three and out. Number eight, make turn. Wilson gets the snap and punts it away. Number 87, field the deep punt at the 24. Tackled at the 34. Number 87, returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of war and peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Oilers had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 34-yard line. It's intercepted. Bang down at the 38. Face mask, number 89. Number 89 held the face mask back there, but it was kind of iffy. That's a five-yard penalty and a right call. The Texans start this drive already in field goal position, and they're going to line up at the 33-yard line. Spikes picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Spike gets the call on second down and maybe picks up one on the play. Somebody please block me. Dawson gets all of his arm into this pass, and it's tipped incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 27 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number 81 boots it from 47 yards out, and, and he misses this one to the right. Number 81 misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. 
Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. The Oilers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 38-yard line. Number 16 unloads this one to the left, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 50 swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. That had potential for That's some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Oilers in command of this one, 24 to 6. Nabbed the football away from three defenders in his area. That's got to feel good. Another short catch, and that's where they've been utilizing him today. Yeah, the short routes have been open, and he's been exploiting it. Hey, I like those stats. Great receiving yards. Number 16 throws a bullet, and it's caught at the 49. And he stopped right there. That will bring up first down. Number 89 made a fantastic catch in double coverage. Keep getting him the ball, guys. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to him have all been in completion. Yeah, he's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. Oh, look there. 150-plus receiving yards. He's been making plays all game long. This one will fall incomplete. With the deflection. Stop, stop, stop. Second, Second and ten. ten. Right there, oh, three yards. Yeah. Number sixteen throws a bullet to the flat, and it's caught at the forty-nine. Runs out at the thirty-nine. Number 20, ran out of bounds there, well short of where he wanted to go. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Number 20 has his number called on third down and gets well past the markers for a first. first down. Number 20 played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. First down, both wideouts to the right. Number 16 fires this one over the middle, and it's intercepted. Stop at the 28. 69 does a great job diving in there to rescue the pass before it hits the turf. Who just gets to it? Yeah, I'm amazed he came away with that one, actually. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Texans will start this drive at their own 28-yard line. Number 30 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. He's got seven tackles so far. Dawson unloads this to the right sideline and it falls incomplete. Number 88, muffed an almost guaranteed catch there. And as a receiver, you have to carry your weight and make the play. They don't come much more catchable than that one. That's his second drop, and he cannot be happy with that. Sometimes the ball bounces your way, and sometimes it, uh, it doesn't. Exactly. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Intercepted. The 40, 45. The 48. Oh, 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 
Number 43 shows why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Oilers have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their 48-yard line. Number 28 goes in motion. Number 20 has his number called on first down and chews up about four on the play. Number 20 has got a bunch of carries, and you can see by his chart here how his running performance breaks down mostly to the outside, and it's working okay, although I'd like to see him mix it up a little bit more. So far, he's got 77 yards on 15 carries. Here comes the counter. Here comes Second the counter. and five. Ball at 38 yards. up a yard on the play and that brings up third down. Third down, four yards to go. Number 16 lobs it to the left sideline and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Ineligible receiver. Number 52, offense. The penalty is declined. Incomplete pass. Number 43 lines up for the punt. Number 26 to make the return turn. Number 43 gets the snap and punts it away. Jackson gets it at the 15. Tackled at the 20. Jackson didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Texans haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 20-yard line. Number 33 tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Number 33 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second down, two tight ends in the game. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Number 81 looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. That's two drops by one of the more sure-handed receivers in the game. Wow, it's not often you see him out of sync like this. Dawson throws a beauty to the right side. They get the first on third and long. Dawson plays this one in beautifully. Got to see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively rendered the defense irrelevant by being so accurate. Yeah, they might as well have been 10 yards away. He adds another completion to his strong numbers today, Peter. Yeah, he sets the bar pretty high for himself, but I imagine he's happy with his consistent performance today. Spikes carries it for the 18th time and passes the line. Brought down at the 49. Way to make it happen, boys. Second down with a split backfield. Dawson zings it to the right side and it's complete for a gain of three yards. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information right. along to you. Right. Check this out. You, you, yeah, you see this good. right here? All right. Feel this? All right. It hurts. Right there, right there. 
Fourth down coming up. Number 33 came in and got a hand on that football. Left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball. And they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply Somebody defend the pass the when you can obliterate it? it. Wilson gets ready to punt this away. Make the return. Hey! Wilson takes the long snap and punts it away. The Oilers let it bounce out of bounds at the seven. Wilson angles this one nicely and puts it out of bounds and away from any potential return inside the 10. That's a nice punt. The Oilers have a long field ahead of them and start this drive back at their own eight-yard line. Number 20 takes it for his 17th carry and heads up field. Chase down at the 18. It will be first down. First down, first down. Number 20 took advantage of some really good blocking there. They opened up a hole. And he's able to cross the line and get a bunch more without uh, really much resistance. And that's what the O-line gets paid for. First and 10. Number 89 goes in motion. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. Well, there they are. Today's injuries and in both teams have lost some players. This is where the bench needs to step up and do their job. Second and five. up about two and that will bring up third down they're finishing up putting a brace on him and it looks like he should be ready to come back in soon back to you fellas as always we'll hope for the best up here in the booth thank you Susan third down from the eye number 89 goes in motion Number 44 gets the call on third down and converts the third down. Number 44 was assisted First on that play by some there. great blocking that opened up holes for him. Without those blockers, he would have been toast. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. First and 10. Number 20 dodges this one way out right and chews up about four on the play. Second down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. Brown takes up about two. 
Texans take their first time out. Third down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. Tap. The Texans will take a timeout. That's their second. Number 43 gets ready to punt this away. Number 26 Number 43 gets the ball and punts it away. Jackson fields the punt at the 27. Tackled at the 31. Jackson didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Texans start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.42. Number 18 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number 18 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice throw down the field, but the defense plays it perfectly. Great coverage downfield that time. Second down, the clock is stopped at 138. Dawson throws a big high lob and it's tipped incomplete. Number 22 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, one man back. Take a timeout. That's their final one. Go for it on fourth down. Four four five. Ball at the home gate's 36 yard line. Dawson rifles it out left side and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down. Number 81 was out on the outside, but he didn't quite have a position to make the catch. Well, they don't convert on fourth down, and that will be it for them. Yeah, chalk this one up in the L column, Dan. It's all over. Leopard, Leopard.
is going to do it for this one. The Oilers come out on top 24 to 6. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN video game post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Oilers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 16 connected with his man on this one. Number 89 was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. An 80-yard touchdown for the Oilers. Home players behind by 18. Number 40 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Oilers on defense, number 42, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Oilers winning 24 to six. Number 69 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The home players, after getting an interception, number 43, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Home players trailing by 18. Number 16 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Oilers win this one 24 to 6. Now let's check in with our player of the game. A guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Number 89 is on the field with our Susie Calvin. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You really hustled today and led your team to a big win. What do you think was vital to your team's success today? I really think our linebackers played well today. They're reading the plays, getting after the ball. Man, look like a pack of wild dogs out there. They played big time today, so yeah, I gotta tip my cap to them. Back to you, Chris. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time.